हेलो स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम टू माय चैनल इंजीनियर्स एकेडमी काइंडली सब्सक्राइब माय चैनल इफ यू हैव एंड सब्सक्राइब माय चैनल येट नाउ आई एम गोइंग टू सॉल्व दिस वन अनदर प्रॉब्लम व्हिच इज रिलेटेड टू द फ्रिक्शन टॉपिक चैप्टर 6 सो इन दिस प्रॉब्लम वी आर रिक्वायर्ड टू कैलकुलेट द फोर्स पी रिक्वायर्ड टू इनिशिएट मोशन ऑफ द 24 केजी ब्लॉक अप द इंक्लाइन राइट so we have to determine this p force which will initiate this 24 kg block to move up uh, this incline which is making 10 degrees with the horizontal and further it is said that the coefficient of static friction for each pair of surface is 0.30 right so the coefficient of static friction between both of these blocks and between this block and this surface is 0.30 right so let's say if we consider that this 20 kg block is let's say block a and this 24 kg block is let's say block b so then the weight of block a is 20 times 9.81 which is 196.2 newtons and the weight of block b is 24 into 9.81 which is 235.44 newtons further we will consider the free body diagrams of both of these blocks uh, separately and we will consider all the forces on both of these blocks right so let's say that this is that block a and here we have that block b so on block b in block b we have that p force which is required and which is acting this p force is acting parallel to this inclined surface right so let's say that this is that force p which is acting like this right this is that force p which is acting parallel to the surface of that inclined plane right So this is that P which is required. If the external force on this block B is acting in this direction, then both of these the surfaces of block B will have the friction forces in the opposite direction of this external force, right? So this means that at this particular surface, this block B will have friction in the opposite direction to this P, right? So we will have the friction force on this block B in this direction, right? and let's say that this will be equal to let's say fb the friction force on b right and similarly if this 20 kg block rest on this uh, 24 kg block so this 24 kg block will apply the normal force on this 20 kg block right so we will have the normal force which will be acting like this right and let's say this is an a right and as a reaction this block a will apply the same and a force the normal force on this block b as well right so we will have that and b force which will be acting vertically downward right so so this and a will have this is also that same and a force right so this block b applies an a normal force on this block a and the same normal force is applied by block a on this block b right so this block b is having the friction force in this direction and the magnitude of this friction force fb will be equal to mu s and a right so this will be equal to mu s and a and we know that mu s is 0.30 for both the surfaces so i can write that this friction force will be equal to 0.3 and a and similarly the friction between uh, these two surfaces Uh, will be also acting in the downward direction since the block will this p force will try to initiate the motion in the upward direction right so we will have that friction force here as well right so and the magnitude of this friction force will be equal to 0.3 times the reaction applied by this inclined surface so let's say that the reaction uh, the normal force which is applied by this uh, inclined plane is let's say and b right so then this friction will be 0.3 times and b and we will have that and b force which will be acting vertically upward here right and this will be an b similarly this block b has weight so that weight will be acting vertically downward so let me represent that weight here so that weight will be acting vertically downward here like this and this is since this is block b so this weight will be equal to 235.44 newton and similarly if if the friction uh if this block b has friction in this direction which is 0.3 and a so as a reaction this block b will apply the same friction force on this block a but in the opposite direction right so we will have that 0.30 and a friction on this block b in the opposite direction right so this is that 0.3 and a 
and if the friction force is acting in this direction so then we can see that here we have these roller supports right so this means that this block a will will have the force in the opposite direction to this friction force right so the these rollers will apply the force on this block in this direction which is opposite to this friction force right so here we will have this block a will be in contact with these rollers right this block a will not be in contact with these rollers since uh, the friction force on this block a is acting upward direction of the inclined plane so so that means that this block a will experience will have will be in contact with the rollers here right and these rollers will apply the force on this block a and the direction of that uh, roller support will be acting in the negative x direction right similarly this block a will have the weight which will be acting vertically downward in the negative y direction and this weight of a is 196.2 right so we have to determine this p force so now if i say if i consider block a right and if i apply the summation of forces along y axis is equal to 0 for block a the x and y axis are this one right so if we apply the summation of forces along y so then as we can see that this friction force is making angle with the horizontal right if i if i draw that point 3 and a friction force so it is making 10 degrees since this surface is parallel to the inclined surface and this surface is making 10 degrees so this means that this point 3 and a will be making 10 degrees with the horizontal right so this is that 10 degree right so this point 3 and a will have two components it will have one component which will be acting in this direction right and this one will be the cost component since this is 10 degrees right so this is point 3 and a cos of 10 degrees and similarly it will have one component will be acting vertically upward and this one will be the sine component right so then we can write that this will be point 3 this since this sine component is acting in the positive y direction so i will write this is point 3 and a sine of 10 degrees and similarly this and a is if i draw this surface so this and a is perpendicular to this surface the surface of this block a which is in contact with block b this is that and a right and this and a will be perpendicular to this surface right and if i draw a vertical line here so then this vertical line if i draw a horizontal line here so this vertical line is perpendicular with the horizontal line and the angle between this surface this surface and the horizontal is 10 degrees so this means that this and a is making 10 degrees with the vertical as well right so this and a is making 10 degree with the vertical and if we resolve this and a into its component so it will have two components it will have one component which will be acting vertically upward that is in the positive y direction so if i draw that and a so this is that and a it will have one component which will be acting vertically upward and it will have one component which will be acting in the negative x direction and this angle is 10 degrees so this is an a cos of 10 degrees and this is an a sine of 10 degrees so this means that if we are adding the summation of forces along y so then the this an a cos of 10 degrees is acting in the positive y direction so i will write plus an a cos of 10 degrees and this weight of block a is acting in the negative y direction so i will write minus and this is 196.2 and this will be equal to zero so from this we can write if i bring this to the other side of equation so this will become positive and we will have this equation and if i take an a common so this will be equal to 0.3 sine of 10 degrees plus cos of 10 degrees and this will be equal to 196.2 and from this we get an a equals to 189.22 newton right now i will consider block b there is no need to 
apply the summation of forces along x for block A since we are only interested in determining this and A. As we can see that uh, when we will consider this block B for equilibrium then we will have this and A in our equations right. So, we are only required to have this and A for from the analysis of that block A right. So, now if I apply the summation of forces along y for block B equals to 0 and for block B we will orient our positive x and y direction right. So, for block for block B I will say that my my x direction is in this direction and my y direction is perpendicular to the inclined surface right. So, let us say that the, these coordinates are let us say that this coordinate system is represented by x dash and y dash right. So, now I will apply the summation of forces along y dash equals to 0 for this block B right. So, then as we can see that this and B and this and A they are since they are perpendicular to the inclined surface and this y dash is perpendicular to the inclined surface. This is my x dash and this is my y dash. So, when we orient our x, uh, x and y axis is in this direction then there is no need to resolve an A and an B since an A and an B are acting in the y dash direction right. So, if I apply the summation of forces along y dash equals to 0 for block B. So, then we can say that this N B is acting in the positive y dash direction. So, I will write N B this N A is acting in the negative y dash direction. So, I will write minus N A and now this weight is making 10 degrees with the negative y axis is right. If I draw a line here let me draw a line here. So, then this weight is perpendicular with the horizontal line right. So, if I draw that inclined surface here. So, this is that weight which is acting vertically downward and this is that line right. This is this line is parallel to y dash right. So, this line is making 90 degrees with this inclined surface and this weight is making 90 degrees with this horizontal surface. So, the angle between the inclined and the horizontal surface is 10 degrees. So, this means that this weight is also making 10 degrees with the y dash axis is right. So, this means that this weight is making 10 degrees here right. So, now if I resolve this weight into its components, so it will have two components, it will have one component will be acting in this direction and it will have one component will be acting in the negative y dash direction let me represent this right. So, we will have one component like this right this component or I can represent it here right. So, if it is making 10 degrees here so then this is the cos component of this weight and this is the sine component of this weight. So, now as we can see that the cos component of this weight is acting in the negative y dash direction. So, I will write minus 235.4 and this is cos of 10 degrees and this will be equal to 0. So, from this equation we can find N B this will be equal to N B equals to N A and N A is equal to 189.22. So, I will write 189.22 plus 235.44 cos of 10 degrees and when we solve this then N B equals to 391.1 newtons. Now, for block B if I apply the summation of forces along x dash equals to 0. So, now as we can see that this P is parallel to that inclined surface or we can say that this P is acting along the x dash. So, we can say that this is plus P. This point 3 and A is acting in the negative x dash direction. So, I will write minus 0 0.3 and A and this is acting in the negative x dash direction as well. So, we will write minus 0 0.3 and b and similarly this uh, sine component of this weight is acting in the negative x dash direction. So, I will write minus this is 235.44 sine of 10 degrees and this will be equal to 0 right. So, from this we can write that this p will be equal to 0.3 and a right. So, point 3 and A. So, N A is 
189.22 plus 0.3 and B and B is 391.1 plus 235.44 sine of 10 degrees and when we solve this then this P force equal to 214.97 so we can say that it is approximately 215 newtons right so this is 215 newtons right so 215 newton force is required to move this 24 kg block in the upward direction parallel to this inclined surface so i hope you people would have understood the solution of this particular problem kindly subscribe my channel and like this particular video if you people want me to solve such more problems